Good morning, Jefferson Jets. It is Wednesday, February 13th, 2019. We have a C day and are on day 103. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, a moment of silence, and your Jefferson Jets Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Jefferson Jets Pledge. Jefferson Jets are respectful, safe, and kind. It is the Jefferson way to be our best every day. Yesterday was President Abraham Lincoln's birthday, February 12th, which is why we had the uh, day off. So. Please enjoy this quick video about President Lincoln. I have to admit, one of my favorite subjects in school to learn was history. I mean, when my teachers would open the history books and take us on a journey through the past, it was like watching a movie. Now in history, one of the topics I love to read about were things like the Civil War, the Gettysburg Address, the Emancipation Proclamation, and stories about how many Americans changed the path of this country. One of those key people in history that many look back on that helped to give direction to the United States of America was Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is well known as the 16th president of the United States. When it comes to history books, one of the big things that Abraham Lincoln gets a lot of credit for is leading the United States through the Civil War. Right now, let's have a little fun and talk some more about our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln. Like, did you know that he was born on February 12th, 1809? Well, he was. Abraham Lincoln began his life in Hodgensville, Kentucky. As far as his experience growing up, Abraham's family lived in a one-bedroom log cabin. Just think of it like someone you may know, or maybe you are, who lives in a one-bedroom apartment. Well, it was kind of like that, except it was a log cabin. His parents' names were Thomas and Nancy Hanks Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln may also be like someone you know too. That's because he didn't have it easy growing up. His dad lost everything they owned and they all ended up moving to a place called Perry, Indiana. After losing everything that they owned, it was hard for them to get by with very little money. Another sad thing that happened to Abraham Lincoln was at the age of nine, his mother died, leaving him to be raised by his father and his sister, Sarah. Later on, his father eventually remarried, but there was more to this story. For example, I know a lot of people who struggle in school. I know a lot of people who had very little education. Well, that was also Abraham Lincoln, but that didn't stop him because as he got older, he worked a lot of different jobs and eventually got into politics. When it came to working in the world of politics, he was a part of the Illinois legislature, where he studied the law and became a lawyer. That just goes to show that it doesn't matter where you start, it's all about where you finish. Another interesting thing about Abraham Lincoln is during his political career, he also ran for the United States Senate. Although he didn't win, that did not discourage Abraham, and in 1860, after being recognized for the debates about slavery, Abraham Lincoln won the election for the presidency and began to serve in 1861. Now you would think life would get easier from there with him being the president, but before he had got into office, the southern states decided that they didn't want to be a part of the United States of America, and they decided to do what's called secede. Keeping things simple, when a state secedes, it says it doesn't want to be a part of the country anymore. And after they did that, it wasn't very long before the Civil War began. One of the main reasons that they left was because they wanted to keep African Americans as slaves and they did not agree with some of the things Lincoln was doing. The Civil War saw the loss of over 600,000 Americans fighting for the control of the United States. The two sides were the Union, which were part of what we call the North, and there were the Confederates, which were a part of the South. Although the battle saw many lives lost, on January 1st, 1863, Abraham Lincoln changed the face of the war. He issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed the slaves in the Confederate States. 
This helped to set the stage for what we call the 13th Amendment, which freed all slaves. After a long and bloody war, the Civil War ended after Robert E. Lee surrendered the last major Confederate army to Ulysses S. Grant at Appomattox Courthouse on April 9, 1865. After seeing the surrender of General Lee, Abraham Lincoln soon turned his sights to healing the nation. But Abraham Lincoln would not live long enough to see the healing of the country. This was because on April 15, 1865, he died by being shot by John Wilkes Booth in the Ford Theater. And that was a little history on Abraham Lincoln. All right. I hope you learned a little bit about our 16th president. We have an update. The Sweetheart Dance is Friday night from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Bring your parents and join in the fun. Tomorrow, we have band. So band students in grades 4 and 5, make sure to bring your instruments. We have some birthdays to celebrate, some from this four-day weekend and one from today. Happy birthday to Jacob Kowal, Schwab Kader, Sherilyn Reto, Julio Gervasio, and Sofia Ruggiero. And then finally, be great today, Jefferson Jets, and have a wonderful Wednesday.